Hey guys, welcome What's back up? to our channel or welcome to our channel. I'm Jasmine. I'm Matt. This is Matt. And today we are going to do a college hacks video because we just graduated and we know how to be A students. So if you want to learn how to do well in school, just continue watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let us know any tips you guys have and we look forward to looking at them. Thanks. Tip number one, one. copy. Well, that was that was like eleven, but tip uh, number one. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> Before anything. Yeah, coffee. Literally, yeah. I know you should probably know you need to drink coffee to stay awake and energized. Great, but if you're buying coffee at school, then you're not. You're not doing it right. That's yeah, it's, all they gotta say. It's a complete waste of money. I mean, you guys are gonna be spending at least twenty dollars a week on coffee. You know, you could do it twenty dollars. Um, Put that in your savings, yep. go travel for the summer. Then there you, you go. You, you can invest it in a year, you'd have a lot more, you know? Yeah. Uh, so that's what we learned. We were buying coffee out almost every morning. We'd go to Dunkin' or Starbucks, spend about $5 at breakfast each. Yeah, it's breakfast too, every it's not day. even coffee. Yeah, and it, it just, you spend more. So we start, started buying coffee at home, making it at home. You mm -hmm. buy $5 one pound bag, that lasts one, you one month. Or you that's buy a, a five huge difference. Bag. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a great investment. So that is tip number one. Let's tip number two. two. Okay, now we're going on into what you need for school. These are two very important things you're gonna need. A five subject notebook and a really cheap laptop. Definitely want to get the five subject notebook guys with the folders because you're gonna to want to divide up your subjects and you're gonna want plenty of pages. You run out so fast, it's incredible. And it's so much easier to bring one notebook rather than five separate notebooks. Exactly. And it just keeps you organized and you just it's just gonna put you on track. And another tip for just sub, uh, supplies in general is a laptop. If you don't have that fancy Mac, that's mm -hmm. okay. We bought computers for under $200 from Walmart and they worked for our whole four years in college, yeah. so. You can get an That's Asus, you can get an Acer, you can get anything, a Lenovo. Um, all of these are great, two to three hundred dollars, and they will last. You know, I'm not talking about a high performance computer, you know, something for it's gaming. It's gonna do the basics. It's basics, gonna give yeah. you any programs you need to download, like Word, PowerPoint, mm -hmm. even if you have any JS programs, it will work for that as well as typing up papers, which you are going to do quite often. So you're definitely <laughs> gonna to wanna to have a laptop. But for notes, we do recommend um, the five subject notebook still. If you're okay with writing notes on your computer, go for it. But for us, we learned that writing down helped you retain more and it just helped you do better in school and okay. tests. So. And on top of that also guys, make sure you have enough pens. It's always great, you can never have enough. You're always like running yeah, out. Get about two packs. And lending them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to lend out your pens in college. You're just not gonna get them back. That's realistic. And also, if you wanna like have colorful pens and separate for per class, just so you just stay more organized and stuff, definitely if you're that kind of person, do it. We recommend it. Absolutely. Tip number three, rate my professor. That will save your life and GPA. <laughs> <laughs> it is the best tool. We, our, my, at least my first semester, I didn't go by written professor, and it was just so terrible, and it was such a bad experience, and I registered so late, so I didn't get any of the good professors, and it really ruined my GPA. And then I transferred schools and used written my professor, and I graduated with a 3.92. Now let me tell you, I was not the greatest person in high school. I'm not super smart. My secret is write my professor. Literally, I mean, you can find the nicest professors and somebody who genuinely cares rather who than- Who wants you to do well. Exactly. Not saying every professor is gonna give you an A, but if you put the work into a professor who got good ratings, you mm -hmm. will get the A, yep. guaranteed. So that is one easy, easy, simple tip. Please, if you're not gonna listen to any other tip, listen to this one and you will do great It'll save you so much stress. Time, I mean, money, just... yeah, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> tip number, number four. four. Number four. All right, this one is... I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll say it. Uh, put your schedule in two days. I know you guys are gonna wanna, especially if you're freshman, that's fine. You're gonna be there for maybe four or five days a week. But if you could put your schedule, put your four classes or five classes within a Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, it will be so much better. You could have a part-time job. You could have a social life. You could have those two days <laughs> to focus on school. It sounds, it sounds overwhelming, guys, it's but not. I'm telling you. We did it. 
this and we get overwhelmed step. really easily so that says a lot yeah just try it out for a semester see how you like it yeah. take an online class instead of just all mm -hmm. in class classes mix it up <laughs> yeah um, also guys you know if you start school early that's the best time for parking too you know you'll get a parking spot in the morning you know you stay till later afternoon but you know what? You only have to come two days, so you do a Monday, Wednesday. Save gas. Five, save gas. Save time. You could make money outside of mm -hmm. uh, school, and it's just going to be overall more productive. Exactly. If you schedule those two days just for school, you would just be focused yeah. on school, exactly. on those classes. It is so worth it, and you'll find that, that most of your classes do end up connecting, especially the later on you get into your college career, like junior or sophomore year. You're going to have classes that relate to your earlier class, and so you'll just relearn what you learn and it's easier to take tests mm -hmm. easier to just do well in school so put your schedule in two days yes more relaxing more laid back you can have the part-time job you can save money on the side you, you can go party on party. the weekends <laughs> you can do whatever you want but you will have your life and that is key and our fifth tip number five will be <laughs> number five what is number five make a oh number five Make a friend in every class. Oh, yeah, that is so beneficial, guys. Because you know what, you miss a class, you miss anything, in you're college, sick, whatever. Yeah. You know what, you got a buddy. Yeah, if you in college, if you miss one class, you are so behind. Think about it. It's only 15 weeks most colleges, mm -hmm. 15 or 17, mm -hmm. and it's just two days a week, or once a week, or even one day a week. So if you're gonna miss that class, you're gonna miss a good portion mm -hmm. of the next test. So definitely have a friend to take notes for you, to send you any work, and then also email the professor if you're gonna be absent. That's just, it's just the right thing to do. So also, definitely try that. A lot of times professors won't have the notes from the PowerPoint or they, they say they won't give them to you, you know, yeah. if you're absent. You're gonna have that strict exactly. professor, but well, you're gonna yeah. have that friend who's gonna help you out. It's your and you'll help them too, so it's just, it just works it's out for you. It's a win-win, yeah. exactly. Anyone, just first day sit down, person next to your left, that's your friend, there you go. Best friend, <laughs> you guys will be buddies. All right, and our last and final tip. Number six. Number six, yeah. We study are tips. Gonna use, yeah, study tips. Because uh, as we know in college, it's mostly either presenting, but mostly tests. So let's get into how to take a test. Ready? For number one, number one, one most important thing that nobody actually does is pay attention in class. That will, I, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, <laughs> that will save you so much time. So guilty. It's like a 45 minute class. Just pay attention at least 20 of those minutes and you will have so much less studying to do. You will know more. You'll be so surprised about how much you know by just paying attention. And then you, you can only study for like an hour and still get a 90 or above. The alternative to that, if you're like me and you can't pay attention for your life, the last, whenever the teacher announces the data review, make sure you're on that, you're there on that day because you need to take those notes and you need to get an A on that test. And this is just another random study tip that happens to work for some people. When you're studying, chew a gum, like a Chicken distinct flavor gum. <laughs> it does. If you have like a like a cinnamon flavor one and then during the test you pop in a cinnamon flavor gum, you are more likely to remember what you learned. Does it have to be a certain flavor? Does it it does. It has to be the same flavor as the one you were studying with. It does, really? It does. It's wow. very interesting, but it's proven, so right. definitely try that out. And we're gonna have a bonus tip for you guys just because why not? It's college, you're gonna hate it and you might love Everybody it. Everybody loves a bonus, right? Yeah. Bonus points, a curve. Tess, yeah. <laughs> you might not get them in college, so here you go. Yeah. This one is uh, kinda cheating. <laughs> when you get the right papers and it's a seven page or 10 page paper and you can't write for that yeah, long. Especially the night before, like we've all been there before. <laughs> yeah, you all been there, you forgot this paper's due. Yeah. It's 10 freaking pages and it's on a subject you hate. You're gonna have mm -hmm. to increase those bullet points by at least, if it's a 12 to a 13 or a 14. Yeah, the period, guys. The period, you wanna, uh, yeah, period. You wanna make it like a, a 12, or yeah, I think it's a 12, you wanna make it a 14 or a 16. Yeah, um, it, is, it does not look noticeable, but it will turn your five page paper into a seven page paper. And that's a huge difference. Two pages or type, or like another two hours of your life, so. Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend that, and also spacing. That's always Spa a, yep, just unless you can print it. Space you out can, those paragraphs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, that is it for our tips, our college hacks, our school hacks, whatever you want to call it. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, subscribe, and subscribe, and of course, leave comments on any tips that you guys might have. You know, we're very interested. Yes. We want to know anything we can add. 
yeah for next video and also just tell us if you use any of these tricks or are going to use any of these tricks they really worked for us we um just graduated and we did really well in school and we just want you to know like we're credible and you could do it like anyone could do it you're not tricks. yeah exactly you could do whatever you set your mind to exactly. so good luck have a great semester and we love you peace